Hello and welcome to WePC Benchmarks. My name is Seb and today I'm benchmarking the RX 6600 versus the RX 6600 XT. So the two newest GPUs from AMD on the low end. And we'll be seeing what kind of performance difference there is between them. We start off with CSGO at high settings and starting at 1080p, the 6600 is averaging 284 FPS with a 1% of 130 and a 0.1% of 28. Compared to the XT, getting an average of 286 FPS with a 1% of 96 and a 0.1% of 31. But as you can see, both GPUs are not being utilized fully here. Then at 4040p, the 6600 averages 274 FPS with a 1% of 145 and a 0.1% of 48. Then the XT is averaging 266 FPS with a 1% of 113 and a 0.1% of 51. The difference coming from the non-XT having a usage of about 15% more than the XT. And then at 4K, the 6600 averages 158 FPS with a 1% of 50 and a 0.1% of 15, whereas the XT averages 180 FPS with a 1% of 89 and a 0.1% of 72. The next game is Dirt 5 and an ultra high with ray tracing off. At 1080p, the 6600 is averaging 93 FPS with a 1% of 82 and a 0.1% of 76, with the XT averaging 105 FPS with a 1% of 95 and a 0.1% of 92. Then at 4040p, the 6600 is averaging 71 FPS with a 1% of 64 and a 0.1% of 60, whereas the XT averages 84 FPS with a 1% of 76 and a 0.1% of 74. And then at 4K, the 6600 averages 44 FPS with a 1% of 38 and a 0.1% of 37, with the XT averaging 52 FPS with a 1% of 46 and a 0.1% of 46. Turning on ray tracing, and now at 1080p, the 6600 is averaging 76 FPS with a 1% of 67 and a 0.1% of 58. And the XT is averaging 84 FPS with a 1% of 79 and a 0.1% of 78. And at 4040p, the 6600 is averaging 50 FPS with a 1% of 51 and a 0.1% of 46. With the XT averaging 66 FPS with a 1% of 59 and a 0.1% of 58. Then at 4K, the 6600 is averaging 34 FPS, with a 1% of 29 and a 0.1% of 28, with the XT averaging 40 FPS, with a 1% of 37 and a 0.1% of 36. Moving on to Doom Eternal next, and an Ultra Nightmare, at 1080p, the 6600 is averaging 131 FPS, with a 1% of 91 and a 0.1% of 29, with the XT averaging 172 FPS, with a 1% of 125 and a 0.1% of 102. Then at 4040p, the 6600 is averaging 93 FPS, with a 1% of 72 and a 0.1% of 28. Compared to the XT, which is averaging 131 FPS, with a 1% of 105 and a 0.1% of 100. And, two. and at 4K, the 6600 is averaging 50 FPS, with a 1% of 38 and a 0.1% of 17, which is similar to the XT, which is averaging 49 FPS, with a 1% of 39 and a 0.1% of 36. We move on to Evil Genius 2. And an Ultra with FSR off. The 6600 averages 194 FPS, with a 1% of 120 and a 0.1% of 107. With the XT getting an average of 228 FPS, with a 1% of 189 and a 0.1% of 160. Then at 4040p, the 6600 is averaging 128 FPS, with a 1% of 103 and a 0.1% of 88. With the XT averaging 154 FPS, with a 1% of 133 and a 0.1% of 130. And then at 4K, the 6600 averages 61 FPS with a 1% of 53 and a 0.1% of 48. With the XT averaging 75 FPS with a 1% of 66 and a 0.1% of 64. Next up is Fortnite and an epic preset. And at 1080p, the 6600 is averaging 90 FPS for 1% of 79 and 0.1% of 42, with the XT averaging 108 FPS for 1% of 23 and 0.1% of 6. Up to 1440p, and the 6600 is averaging 57 FPS for 1% of 24 and 0.1% of 9 compared to the XT, which is averaging 68 FPS with a 1% of 41 and a 0.1% of 15. Then at 4K, the 6600 is averaging 26 FPS with a 1% of 11 and a 0.1% of 6. And the XT is averaging 34 FPS with a 1% of 9 and a 0.1% of 6. Onto New World on very high settings, and at 1080p, the 6600 is averaging 75 FPS 
with a 1% of 32 and a 0.1% of 13, with the XD averaging 89 FPS with a 1% of 44 and a 0.1% of 29, up to 1440p and the 6600 averages 51 FPS with a 1% of 14 and a 0.1% of 8, then the XT is averaging 64 FPS with a 1% of 35 and a 0.1% of 15, but at 4K the 6600 is averaging 26 FPS with a 1% of 21 and a 0.1% of 14, with the XT averaging 31 FPS with a 1% of 23 and a 0.1% of 20. Rainbow Six Siege is next on Ultra and at 1080p the 6600 is averaging 261 FPS with a 1% of 199 and a 0.1% of 160 with the XT averaging 344 FPS with a 1% of 233 and a 0.1% of 203. At 1440p and the 6600 is averaging 162 FPS with a 1% of 130 and a 0.1% of 120. With the XT averaging 266 FPS with a 1% of 230 and a 0.1% of 209. Up to 4K and the 6600 is averaging 81 FPS with a 1% of 64 and a 0.1% of 63. With the XD averaging 136 FPS with a 1% of 118 and a 0.1% of 117. Moving on to Resident Evil Village on high and at 1080p the 6600 is averaging 184 FPS with a 1% of 88 and a 0.1% of 75 with the XT averaging 225 FPS with a 1% of 170 and a 0.1% of 153 then at 4040p the 6600 is averaging 119 FPS with a 1% of 81 and a 0.1% of 50 and then the XT is averaging 159 FPS with a 1% of 121 and a 0.1% of 116 and at 4 Okay. The 6600 is averaging 58 FPS with a 1% of 35 and a 0.1% of 26. With the XT averaging 74 FPS with a 1% of 57 and a 0.1% of 55. We also tested it with ray tracing on and at 1080p the 6600 is averaging 56 FPS with a 1% of 42 and a 0.1% of 27. With the XT averaging 69 FPS with a 1% of 58 and a 0.1% of 41. Then at 4040p the 6600 is averaging 49 FPS a 1% of 37 and a 0.1% of 31, with the XT averaging 60 FPS with a 1% of 50 and a 0.1% of 36. Up to 4K and the 6600 is averaging 34 FPS with a 1% of 27 and a 0.1% of 22, with the XT averaging 46 FPS with a 1% of 39 and a 0.1% of 30. We move on to Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and at 1080p on Ultra, the 6600 is averaging 111 FPS with a 1% of 90 and a 0.1% of 85. With the XT averaging 134 FPS, with a 1% of 116 and a 0.1% of 110. Then at 1440p, the 6600 is averaging 73 FPS, with a 1% of 63 and a 0.1% of 59. With the XT averaging 91 FPS, with a 1% of 81 and a 0.1% of 78. And then at 4K, the 6600 is averaging 38 FPS, with a 1% of 34 and a 0.1% of 32. Then the XT is averaging 46 FPS for 1% of 40 and a 0.1% of 26. And now with ray tracing, the 6600 is averaging 33 FPS with a 1% of 25 and a 0.1% of 23. With the XT averaging 40 FPS with a 1% of 33 and a 0.1% of 33 as well. And at 4040p, the 6600 is averaging 22 FPS with 1% of 17 and a 0.1% of 17 as well, with the XT averaging 28 FPS for 1% of 21 and a 0.1% of 21 as well. And at 4K, the 6600 is averaging 9 FPS with a 1% of 7 and a 0.1% of 6, with the XT averaging 10 FPS with a 1% of 7 and a 0.1% of 7 as well. And lastly we move to Warzone, and at 1080p high settings, the 6600 is averaging 153 FPS with a 1% of 114 and a 0.1% of 31, with the XT averaging 188 FPS with a 1% of 137 and a 0.1% of 100. And at 4040p, the 6600 is averaging 103 FPS, with 1% of 34 and a 0.1% of 19. With the XT averaging 119 FPS, with a 1% of 88 and a 0.1% of 31. Then at 4K, the 6600 is averaging 61 FPS, with a 1% of 35 and a 0.1% of 11. With the XT averaging 60 FPS, 
for 1% of 26 and a 0.1% of 26 as well. So there you have it, the RX 6600 versus 6600 XT. As expected, the XT version takes the win most of the time. But even so, the non-XT can keep up in certain situations. And for $50 cheaper, it is a good consideration. So, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.